It's an incredible honor to be chair of this prestigious department. Berkeley is a top rated university. Our physics department is the number one physics department in the world. We have growing programs in biophysics, atomic physics, uh, quantum physics, quantum information. Berkeley Physics has an amazing history going back to the time of Lawrence and Oppenheimer. And over time, we've had 21 Nobel laureates who have called Berkeley Physics their home. One of the things that's really special about Berkeley is that we have uh, scientists across the full spectrum. Everyone un trying to understand the fundamental properties of solids to actually trying to apply those properties in some interesting engineering context. So there is Lawrence Berkeley National Lab which is nearby and then there's the diverse condensed matter physics department right here uh, on campus and all of the scientists that I have access to allow me to not only couple to different kinds of science but also try and communicate and expand the science that I'm trying to understand in my own group. The intention of the Marvin Cohen interaction area was to bring us together. People come here and discuss problems that they're working on or things they're interested in. Graduate students will wander in and out, professors will wander in and out, and somebody will pick up some information about a specific subject and start talking about it. There's always something that will come out of the discussion, interesting new ideas, sometimes leading to even more important work than the work that was originally discussed. The most exciting aspect of my work is the students. We attract amazing faculty, but our reputation has been built over time through the success of our students, and we want to maintain that going forward. Through the department, we educate around 7,000 students a year. And the students come from all over the state, all over the country, and we have many international students. And the interaction of these students with the faculty on problems that are important both to science and to society have stimulated the great uh, discoveries here at Berkeley. These students, I think, are attracted to Berkeley because of the creativity of thought here and the chance to uh, explore new directions, new ideas. I am studying experimental condensed matter physics. I really enjoy working on the lab. I create new materials that no one has ever made before, which have very exotic properties. These materials could potentially be used in technology. UC Berkeley is a very large uh, institution and even the physics department here is very large so it can be tough uh, for undergraduates to find a community where they fit in and that is what our club provides uh, to the undergraduate community is uh, support and a place uh, to go and meet other students and uh, people you can relate to. We interact with faculty in an informal setting outside of the classroom. We get to see these physics faculty who have done amazing research in a setting that makes them look more human and makes students realize that their goals in physics are achievable. We study these theories and explore new ideas by interacting with each other. So we daily get together postdocs and students and we talk and discuss physics from the morning to the evening and we struggle with each other and bouncing off the ideas with each other and then see if something new comes out. And we sometimes come up with the new ideas, sometimes check whether the idea we had is correct. But then it's very exciting to see that that idea, sometimes quite crazy, really manifest as a truth in nature. My research is in condensed matter physics and uh, I'm especially interested in understanding emergent properties in solids. A lot of the research that we do is what we consider basic research, which means that we really are trying to understand like fundamental properties of matter. Some of those properties actually answer fundamental questions, like so how do particles interact and how do new things emerge from single particles together. They ask really deep questions about you know, the world that we live in and how it works. The nature of dark matter is one of the key physics questions we have. Um, right now we know there's all this dark matter, we don't know what it is. The solution to that problem will likely lead us in a path that lets us discover all kinds of new physics and lead to new questions. Our experiment that we're running right now is called LUX. It's the Large Underground Xenon Experiment. It could be useful for Homeland Security applications, for medical imaging, all sorts of important 
technologies could be advanced by the developments we're making for dark matter detectors. We have a lot of exceptional young people working very hard. It's exciting for them to know that there could be a discovery anytime. It's great training in the scientific enterprise. We really rely on the expertise of the other laboratories that we're able to interact with, uh, both for the physics problems, but also for the technology problems. Someone maybe has designed a circuit in another lab that will do the stabilization that we need, uh, and they've used it for a completely different problem, but the technology has already been developed, and we really benefit from being able to knock on their door anytime and pick their brains about our problems. Berkeley is one of the best schools uh, full stop in the country and it also has one of the best physics departments in the world. That means that we attract the best students and I have directly benefited from that. Learning to be a good researcher for our students comes through experience and that experience is gained from working with the best researchers in the world. As a public research university, we combine our research mission and our educational mission with a goal to improve society. Uh, the intellectual capital you know, here at Berkeley, fantastic students, fantastic postdocs, fantastic faculty, it's pretty perfect.